Hey, welcome back to another episode of World of Arena. Uh, we're gonna make several weapons here today. Platinum, platinum bow. Uh, we're gonna make a cat's claw. I was gonna make my second plus five Kaiser knuckles, but I don't have the wind crisps. So unfortunately, uh, we'll probably have to max my plus three out. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm also gonna make a plus five platinum robe. Uh, if I'm lucky, plus five sage hat and plus five wolf helm as well. Uh, without further ado, here we go. Uh, let's start with our long awaited platinum bow. So, platinum bow is an interesting one. Platinum bow, uh, has a serious question of whether you want, at, uh, whether you want crit or assault. And you can make an effective case for both. Let's put it that way, right? Uh, I may need this for Brotherhood that's coming up later, so I'll probably start modding uh, these first. Anyways, uh, the question here is: you want you want assault or crit? Um, I was leaning more towards crit because 18 crit is a lot better than uh, 18 crit is a lot better than I guess 38 attack. That's what you get. Um, however. You need to think about a couple of things here. Uh, the accuracy is negligible. Accuracy from two to five, mm, I don't think that's big enough. Uh, I don't think that's big enough to matter. So all that matters is the crit from four crit to 18 crit. Um, and it depends on who you intend to use this on, right? I intend to use this on uh, on Christmas Victoria, uh, not so much Nivlu. The reason why people use crit for Nivlu is because if Nivlu crits with um is because if Nivlu crits with her uh, attack, she gets more AP. But Christmas Victor doesn't have that issue. Christmas Victor has reduced AP, uh, so there's no need for her to use um there's no there's no real need for her to get critical. So I'm gonna go assault here. Uh, and the other thing is, <laughs> I had a I had a uh, He'll make make this earlier, and he said that the attack crap, the attack stats on this was terrible. And I made a suggestion. I'm like, why don't you hammer out the HP, and maybe it'll be better. Uh, so I'm gonna put my money where my I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, and I'm gonna run that as well. So I'm gonna run assault, and then I'm gonna uh, basically try to max out the attack. Obviously, there's some RNG elements in this. Also, you'll notice that I used my uh, plus three platinum bow that I got for free in crafting this, and the main reason for that was because that bow was uh, that bow was vital, and I didn't really want the vital bow. Anyways, before I actually get well, while I'm crafting the platinum bow, I can go into whether or not it's effectively worth it. Um, whether or not platinum bow is worth it is hard to say. Uh. I think personally, I think it's kind of gimmicky compared to the. Uh, uh, do I have a better one. I already have two wind spears, and I don't see any better spears coming out. I think there is a nine S spear. Uh, dagger wise, oh well, ninja blade. There isn't any. Okay, anyways, back to uh, back to the sword here. Back to the bow here. Um, when you compare pillar bow to this. Killer Bow plus 15 uh, missile damage. Let's say that is about 15% damage, okay? Uh, defense is 1%, defense is 1% damage. So if you have uh, 20 armor pen, that basic 20% armor pen, that means you need to reduce uh, armor by around 15 in order for it to be equal to that of, um, in order for it to be equal to that of the, uh, what's that? Uh, the Killer Bow, right? Um, the issue with that is that really only works on tanks, and most people aren't running that amount of armor for this to do more damage than the killer bow. I mean, obviously there is a when the killer bow hits somebody with armor, it reduces its damage, so that 15% isn't actually 15%, and whereas here uh, it reduces the armor, so there's a difference. Uh, one is uh, this one actually. Armor, uh, the armor pen actually helps you do more damage uh, because it's not reduced by armor. So there's that calculation too. I believe someone did a calculation on Reddit and they believe and, and they said that um, 
if the armor is less than I think uh, 60, uh, Killer Bow is better. That being said, I'm running this kind of as a gimmick so that I can get. Uh, I'm running this as a gimmick so I so that I can get 100% armor pen and kind of mess around with Christmas Victoria. However, Christmas Victoria at the moment has the uh, has that bug where she does not use uh, Saintly Wall or uh, Sentinel <laughs> on the first turn, and that's really driving me up a wall. So, unfortunately, even if I am going to showcase Christmas Victoria, she's going to be kind of gimped at this point. That being said, here we go. Oh, by the way, I don't have the weapon pass, and I recently got the to VIP 12, uh, which is, uh, as you can see, I don't have the weapon pass. Uh, and I recently got to uh, VIP 12, which I can kind of make a account, sh uh, Mega Whale account showcase right now. Because, um, well, I don't need this one. I don't need accuracy. I uh, don't really need magic either. So, there we go. Um, I can do a Mega Whale account showcase and show off what I got there. Because uh, I literally have all the UR units maxed out and most of the UR vision cards maxed out. So, anyways, uh, my my guildmate said uh, hammering out the HP isn't going to help with the attack. And I'm trying to say, yeah, it does. But I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, so here we go. I'm going to make an Assault version, and I'm going to hammer out the HP first. Effectively, hammering out the HP does two things. It makes it so that you don't get any HP pities, which is one thing. However, the other thing is, now you only have three stats left. You only have four stats left. Accuracy, you only really need one point, and crit, you only need one point. So realistically, uh, if you can max out these two, um, everything's going to go into attack. And then at that point, it's just a matter of how many bonuses you can roll, right? Uh, so, hammering out the HP does serve more uh, than just... Um, hammering out the HP does do more than just... Uh, how should I say it? Then it's it's better, it's more, it's more effective than just being used on those uh, really low stat items like uh, Stage Hat and Bail Gauntlet. But anyways, here you can see that uh, crit is down. I have no more crit seals, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, it's all magic and attack from here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna level it very slowly. So I'm gonna throw in some magic here, see if I can pop a uh, pop a bonus on the magic, and then that way magic will pop off. All right, I think I'm okay. So accuracy crit is capped out. Magic is uh, at 7 left, and here I'm missing 81, and I have 20 levels. Keep in mind, I got 80-something on my first uh, at level 15. But I should be able to level this, so I, so I should be able to max this at uh, around 45-ish. I don't recommend, by the way, I don't recommend throwing in Magic Seals on attack, on basic, what, what's effectively an attack weapon. Okay. I'm here. I'm just trying to push out the uh, the magic pity here, so I don't no longer get magic. All right, so I'm missing 50 attack. Uh, let's see if I can get it. I only got one pity on magic, so if I get the magic pity, that's fine. Anyways, here we go. I still didn't get the magic pity. Uh, 19 in 7 levels, that's not good. Uh, I'm still missing 31. Basically, I can hammer this out now, so that's fine. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not able to max it at the end. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, okay, um, that magic pity kind of screwed me, but I'm going to be missing a 1 here. Uh, I'm being missing one attack and one magic. Uh, I guess I lose that bet with my. Uh, <laughs> not really a bet. 
I guess I uh, overestimated the ability of hammering out the HP. Uh, surprisingly, uh, kind of wasted the magic runes there as well. Um, 187 is not bad. Uh, I did not get a chance to. Unfortunately, I feel like the game's kind of the game kind of trolled me because I decided to uh, kind of tr make uh, make this platinum bow to kind of prove a point. Uh, so. Alright, I had it coming. I couldn't max out the uh, I couldn't max out the attack. Alright, close enough for something that I'm not running the weapon pass for. Um, you're just short one attack and one magic. I don't ever think that's gonna be uh, material. Alright, uh, on to the next weapon. Okay, we're continuing on with World of Armory. Um, since I made Platinum Bow last, uh, let's make Platinum Robe this time. Uh, Platinum Robe, realistically, the best one, I believe, is the armor version uh, for the 18 defense. And the cool thing about Platinum Robe is, with it, you can be effectively immune to uh, Missile. If you have uh, the Death Machine card, Death Machine Esper as well. Anyway, so here we go. <laughs> Look at all my stupid mats. Appreciate my mats before I use them. 7,000, there's basically 8,000, 3,000, 1,000, 1,000, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. BTW Platinum Robe, oh my gosh, this uh, this item is so bad. Uh, uh, I got the recipes on an off raid. What I mean by an off raid is the raid uh, was not mainly featuring that item, however you can purchase the recipe for it. And the biggest problem for this is the stupid bone chips. Uh, luckily, the Elven Cloak raid had uh, had all these uh, dark Mega Void me uh, Void Mega Chris. Uh, that's how I was able to get so many. But if you're not running the Platinum Robe raid, you would not get these. And these are a huge pain in the ass to uh, obtain. Um, Luckily, it turns out that Platinum Robe happens to uh, give it. So, uh, while I'm farming those, look at this, I have 300 recipes of Platinum Robe, uh, Platinum Bow, and this is after already having a plus 5 Platinum Bow. So, yeah. Oh, uh, that was a bad grind. Alright, anyways. While we're here, Awaken Foley. And this Awaken is a uh, huge... Huge pops. Realistically, the only difference between this and my plus two is eight missile resist. And honestly, I can't tell you how valuable eight missile resist is, because it's not. But for completionist values and for uh, the sake of Voldev Armory, uh, we're gonna make it. And this is basically <laughs> uh, five million five hundred thousand gil. Ouch! All right, uh, platinum robe without the weapons pass. This is actually a bit harder on me. Generally speaking, um, oh my gosh, uh, I do not have enough seals to be doing this. Uh, ooh. ooh. Throwing some spirit there. Uh, this is kind of a waste of the spirit, but I want to see if I can get bonus spirit. That way I can cap out the rest. Okay, accuracy is also a serious issue here as well. Okay. Unfortunately, I also need to make uh, two other stuff. So that's not good. Uh, the defense. The biggest problem with plat robe is the defense. I'm hoping I can get enough of the defense off by, uh, and then I can get the rest by pity. Uh, I got two other items coming up as well that might need defense. Uh, not really. Okay, I just need attack. I might be able to pity the rest of this. To be honest. 
I'm about to be super, super broke uh, to make this super long episode of uh, of World of Arena. Ah, of World of Armory. I mean, if I took all the time to make get all the stuff for this, I it would do me good if I can actually say the, say the name of the episode, say the name of the series, right? Okay. Uh, here's here's where it's awkward, and they really should be able to level this up one level at a time. But here we go. HP accuracy. Okay, two defense is not bad. So four, uh, four pities. I am seven defense and two accuracy away, so that's nine. Nine minus four is five. So five hammers. Uh, defense one two three. Accuracy one two. Perfect platinum robe. Uh, this one is a little rough. Uh, literally cost me everything. What it costs everything. Okay. Plat robe. Uh, plat bow. Plat bow. We're gonna go. Um, plat bow. We're gonna go crit this time. I already have an assault version, and then I'll compare the two. Uh. I probably should have done Plat Bowl first if I'm going to compare the two, but damn. Uh, I did not think of that. Okay, so crit, crit, crit. I really hate how they order them in different areas. That's not good. ETW, this Plat Bowl aesthetic looks gorgeous on uh, this Miss Victora. So the thing with Plat Bowl is uh, when I made the Assault version, it was really annoying to get the 180 attack, uh, and in order to do so, I hammered out the HP, and I was still one attack and one magic uh, off. So, uh, to combat that issue, uh, the crit version will always be easier to max. Uh, I could throw that out there right now. The crit or the crit and aim version of any weapon is always easier to the max. And realistically, uh, it is debatable whether Assault is better or Crit is better. Because um, the dirty attack from the Assault uh, may or may not do... Uh, some people even call it Assault a trap. So I'm going to throw out that theory here. The theory that Assault is a trap is that the extra 30 or 40 attack um, realistically amounts to roughly 2 or 3% damage. Whereas if you get a crit, it's a 10% damage. And the 2 or 3% damage is not very likely to kill an opponent, but the 10% damage is. So, there you go. There's the there's the assault and crit theory. Anyways. Uh, this is rough. Attack, accuracy. I may need to do some transmuting here. I got no... Okay, I thought I got no crit there. I was pretty annoying. Uh, I am going to need to do some transmuting. Uh, oh, we gotta get some more crit and some more. Uh, Alright, let's see whether or not this will work. Hopefully, this will cap something out. Okay, that capped out accuracy. Uh, health seals are pretty expensive. Crit, also pretty expensive. Uh, I may end up needing to just straight up hammer the rest of this out. Then again, I'm also short attack seals as well, right? No, I have 23 attacks, so I should be able to get the rest of the attack. Uh, throw some magic on there, throw health seal. What else do I need to make after this? We really need to make Wolf Helm after this. Uh, Wolf Helm is also an awkward one to craft. Uh, let's see where we go after this.
Well, attack is pretty much capped out. Uh, attack or attack is about to be capped out. Uh, HP is about to be capped out. So, here I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of, because uh, I'm limited by my resources and you guys just saw how many seals I have left, uh, I might have to do some big brain move here. That doesn't work. Thinking maybe I hammer out the HP. Uh, and maybe the magic. Well, there's 20 stats left, uh, 18 of which is crit, so I can't really hammer out the attack. Uh, so that's awkward. That didn't work. Uh, miscalculated the amount of HP I needed. Uh, that's fine, so we're going to need to do some... Uh, well, I might be able to buy some seals here. Ooh, that's unfortunate. These seals are crazy expensive. Well, these. Also decently expensive. And I can only get five a day. Uh, I might as well just uh, merge them. After this episode, I really gotta end up farming, go back to farming for seals. It's kind of annoying me. Don't really need the. Uh, fine, I'll get some life seal. I'll get like five life seals. One is crit. I'm not a big fan of crit. So there we go, crit. Uh, oh shit. That was dumb. I just said I'm not a big fan of crit and I'm upgrading a crit weapon. Oh my gosh. Well, there you go. There's my brain fart going off. Uh, I need a tax seal, I believe, is the other thing I need. Oh my gosh. This brain fart just really screwed me over. Oh my god. That's not good. Right, where's my plat bow? Oh no, I, I, uh, I enhanced the seal. I enhanced the uh, accuracy, accuracy seals when I should have uh, transformed them into crit seals. Alright, fine. I'll just buy a bunch of crit seals here. Wait, this one is damaged. Uh, okay, this ends in one day, so... Eight, I guess. I need enough uh, to buy one more... Uh, well, one more of this. And then Arena. Heals five. Uh, we need this and this here as well, but not this one less so. Oh, right, I think we should be good to go. Oh, that that hurt so bad. I'm draining the bottom of my barrel here to make this plat bow. Uh, realistically, uh, the argument between plat bow, uh, assault, and crit is kind of moot because I don't think it's better than killer bow. I think killer bow is actually better. Uh, and I have three killer bows. So in case you guys are wondering, then why don't you make killer bow? Because I have three. Uh, here we go. Nice. Uh, that capped out beautifully. Uh, we got 11 more left. I might be able to just max out the rest of this. Uh, yeah, we'll probably be fine. I might need to do a crit hammer or two, but we'll probably be fine. Uh, alright, perfect. 
I got very lucky with that last bo that last uh I got very lucky that last one, which is really good because I was scraping the bottom of my barrel. Okay. Uh next item. Uh I have my whole little checklist here. I believe it's Wolf Helm. Make uh Wolf Helm plus five. And I'm gonna finish leveling that plus three uh fist. The plus three Kaiser knuckle. Eight seventy. I don't believe there's any crazy great sword that's coming out in there. Unfortunately, I was an idiot and I this uh I merged all my all my fist items. So now I need to uh do fist the hard way. Uh, so this one is always aim, I believe. And off to the leveling, let's do Kaiser Knuckles first. Yeah, 255. Oh, I already did all my plat balls. So, this is 255. You gotta do a lot of uh, planning before you merge these things, so you know what's coming up next. But anyways. Hey, Kaiser Knuckles plus three. Uh, attack. Accuracy, I guess. Yeah, attack crit accuracy. I didn't know how good I had it back then when I had the, uh, when I used the weapons pass. Uh, let's throw some HP in there. I don't think I need to throw HP in there. This is probably fine. Random magic prop, okay. Uh, need a bit more attack. As you can see, I'm out of runes here, so... I need to do some exchanging. I need attack, crit, and accuracy. And I have a crap ton of magic, so I guess we're modding magic. This seal thing here is very a huge lifesaver. Maybe like twenty. Then, uh, I think I maybe need another 10. And accuracy, I need a whole crap on. This one is accuracy. Uh, I don't think there's any good magic, particularly good magic weapons upcoming. I think only Yuna staff. Anyways, here we go. Finish up that fist. The worst part is, uh, this fist, well, actually, Kaiser Knuckle might take a while to come back, but. The worst part is I may end up disenchanting this to push this up to uh, plus five. But a lot of this stuff's gonna end up going to waste. Accuracy, I can kind of just let it do its own thing. Um, I only need crit and attack. 
most uh, once those two finish up, I think I can hammer out the accuracy. Worst comes worst. Uh, that's awkward. Uh, attack. I need nine, ten. Uh, I'm not. May not be able to. I may not even be able to smith this out. Uh, or on the attack. Accuracy. Oh, and crit. I have exactly enough to. Ha I have exactly enough to max this thing out. Ooh, nice. Too bad when I push it up to uh, plus five, it doesn't get the. Uh, it doesn't retain the stats. <clears throat> that would be a cool way to do things. Uh, max out the weapon, and then you can evolve it to plus five without losing stats. That'd be a cool quality of life ability. Or oh, that would be a cool quality of life upgrade. Anyways. By the way, I have this now. Uh, this is very good for um, for this uh, live PvP map. Uh, let's see, where's that Wolf Helm? Here we go, Wolf Helm 5. Rid of the bows first. Ah, uh, there really isn't any spear. Maybe the thunder spear coming up later. I don't think Aaron get. I don't think Aaron gets his own sword. Go. Uh, this one's a little rough to max out. The most important thing to max out here is the um, is the dexterity. Uh, I figure probably the best way to do it is if I hammer out the HP. But I'll take 10 HP hammers, and HP hammers are way crazy expensive, crazy expensive. Uh, so I guess we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. The, the attack should max itself out. Uh, the HP is taking its sweet time. Uh, I don't really even need HP runes here, but hey, what the hell. Uh, yeah, seriously, the best way to level this up is if you want a perfect version, is if you hammer out 10 HP. And then you just kind of pity the rest. The problem with this is there's no way to max out dexterity. So I would effectively have to throw in HP seals. And hoping magic and defense kind of maxes itself uh, defense and attack kind of max itself out on its own. Oh, this is awkward. Let's see, these are 6, 10, 15, 16. Okay, 16, and I would need how much to max out the HP? Oh, yeah, this one. Wolf Helm is one of those really awkward items to max out. Do I even have that many HP hammers? I do. So, hammer out 8 HP. Seven HP hammers to max this thing out. Uh, that's painful. That's very painful. Uh, but it will max out after that. So this is probably the worst way to do it. But in order to guarantee that I have the maxed out uh, dexterity, it's probably how I should do it. So from there, it will be one five. 7, 17, yeah, this all max. Technically, all max at 
I'm gonna be cheap about it because it cost me a bunch of hammers. There we go, maxed out Wolf Helm. This will be useful in this uh, evade meta. Well, evade CM meta. Alright, thank you guys all for watching uh, World of Arena. Uh, World of Armory. Uh, this episode actually spanned through a whole bunch of, uh, spanned through a couple of days uh, for me to gather all the stuff. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and tune in again. Ultimate G signing out.